hello and welcome to my last stream number. I have no idea. <laughs> I think the last time was 21. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and know because I will never know. Uh, I'm too lazy to like go back and have a look. I'm like, I'm just going to do this and then I'm done. So yeah, welcome. Um, I have no idea when I posted my last one. I think it's a few weeks ago. Uh, I'm going away on holiday in two days. This is Monday. I'm going on Wednesday and I will be gone a week. And then I'll be home for one and a half weeks and then I'm gone for a week again. So my plan was to get this one out. This is a normal floss tube and hopefully in two weeks I will do my whip parade and no I will not count how many whips I have because I refuse to know um yeah uh, I've done I've been really 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 good with two projects no three actually I have a finish I have an FFO so this was one of my plans to, I was hoping to finish, well, I was like, I am going to finish this, this year. Um, and when I, I won't say that I cheated because I don't feel like I did, but I decided to leave out like half, <laughs> half of the design and not fill in. I am sure you know what it is by now, but. I decided I didn't want that and that like put down the stitching by like I think it was 49% so 50% so I got a finish and I made I didn't made, make the frame I found it it was a mirror I painted it and it looks so good I'm just gonna show you so this is Placid Island by Veil Stitchery she's not active on Etsy right now unfortunately uh, I'm hoping she will come back because I love this design it is my Cthulhu piece the the fabric is by Mystic Fabrics I have no idea what it doesn't have a name it's 20 count opalescent something something so here oh it's so big Whee! I think it looks so good I love I love the frame how do people do this it is so big there you go um so it sparkles and the design has the tentacle in greens in the five, 500, 501 and 502. Uh, I was going to swap it out with some gray and no, I think it is perfect just because the it kind of like I can <laughs> please heavy. Um, I just like it as it is. So this is I have no words. <laughs> I haven't gotten, gotten it up yet, but I will, and it looks so cool. And yes, it is a bit, bit crooked, but I do not care because I am done with it. And this is gonna be like super happy. Whee! So, yep. Super cool. So happy to get it done. Please don't fall on me, please. So cool. I have, because I was forced to it, I have actually two new starts. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them are full coverage <laughs> and cells, but you know. Oh, I feel bad. I don't know why. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna feel bad for it. So, the first one is the. Uh, I'm just gonna show you. 
Hale had a sale and I bought it and uh, so this is the 12 sided mini 12 sided dice fairy by Hale um, I am doing this with Becky and Sophia and we are calling it they are doing another piece and we are calling it the big girl no the big eye girl sal yes something like that i will probably just like hook you up down below um so that's kind of like uh maybe i should <laughs> maybe i should show the project that's even the wrong where is it yep i'm gonna I got in like 150 stitches. It's not much. And I am doing this on Crunchy 18 Count Ada, which Sophia gave me. Thank you. So I actually started my very first full coverage on 18 Count and I threw it away because I didn't like it. So, but we are the 18 Count Ada club. So. I do like 18 count, I don't like it for full coverage, but I'm gonna do that now anyway, so because I wanna be cool. So that is all I have. That is all. Yeah. So I chose, I always wanted one of the big, big ice girls, cells, yeah. Um, and I had to pick the D20 because I play, I am playing my second Barbarians and if anyone plays D&D, you know why. <laughs> and it was pink. <laughs> and it was a dragon. So yeah. Uh, the second start I have is the hashtag soul, f s soul for the soul cell. That is with, I have to look you up. That is with Allison and Ayulera. So we started, I bring you two things by the way. So. Oh, it is so cool. I love him already. This is all Ayulera's fault. I am like, this is on you. So. I didn't get in. I didn't get much in. Um, this is done on 25 count. No, 28 count. Easy grid. 2 over 1 ten stitch. Because I like... I don't know. I like to do my full coverage 1 10 stitch. And those who are kind of like... They are full coverage, but they are not. I don't... I'm like, if I do, I've been thinking about this, you know, because I do both full cross and tenth stitch, stitch or half cross, which is the correct way to do it. Um, I, I've wondered why I do, do half cross in one project and not the other. And I found out that if I want to go row by row, like, like down and do one box at a time or one block at a time, I will do full cross because I don't know. I just feel like that's better. If I want to go cross country, I want to do 10 stitch. That's what I've been, because I am doing, I am doing full cross on Jeremy and I do not like going well I, I, I am doing it but I'm kind of like I don't want to do it it's kind of like it, he's a bit of an old one um, I have another full cover coverage with the peacocks I done like 200 stitches and I'm like that's bad but I there I'm doing blocks so I don't know I think that's my preference, so I have to like, if there's big blocks of colors, I will probably do, do half cross. 
if there's a lot of confetti, I will do full cross. I don't know. That may change, but right now that's how I do it. So this is all I have. It's yellow. And you can see it through it, but it's 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 not much to see, honestly. I, I started in on the 1st of June. And this is what I have. So... The two others have come <laughs> so much farther than me. But I've been working on different stuff, so... Uh, I also worked on Alchemical Romance, I think. Yep. This one is from uh, Ink Circles. Soul is from Heaven and Earth, by the way, so... Just so we're clear on that. Um, I mean, like, it's not much to see, but this is Alchemical Romance by Ink Circles. Um, I am. It's the problem with that is, or th that project is, it's not. It doesn't have like how many. It got like six. 6,000 stitches, that's not a lot, but it's so much ca counting to just like get from one place to, to the other. But, uh, and what is the energy? Let's see. This is called Sampler Grey Light from Barbell Creations. That is a linen, 32 count. And it's okay. I mean, like, I do not like linens. So. <laughs> can barely see it. Am I holding it the right way? Yeah, I am. <laughs> you have to, like... <laughs> so... I mean, like... Mm. This is always a problem. Like... So I am almost done with this one. I have like a little thing, thing there and I have like a, something that looks like a key and then I have a triangle here and then this part is done. Um, and I was afraid that I would run out of floss because I didn't have that floss and I bought two new one. Um, also because I had a little bit of a scare with protector which is up next. That the floss I had, because I'm I'm, I have to I have to I have to talk about this because this is something that bothers me a lot sometimes. Um, when you when you buy floss, especially if you buy from if you buy someone's stash, just I've had. A lot of problems with certain dye lots um, because I can show you how I, I went through my. Um, so I I use a master set, so I have like I have every color in that set, and I do not unless it's like this uh, one where it's like one color. Then I put then then I put it in the bag. Um, I do that for a few other projects, but but not but only those that I keep working on. And if I don't want to touch them for a while, I put them back. So the problem is that when I made my master set, I didn't write down on the floss drops because I used these that I made myself. Uh, and then I, they hang, and then I just like take a strand, so really easy. I just put the DMC. What I didn't think about what was that I should, on the back of it, write if it's a new skein, an old one, or from a cone. Because I've learned my lesson with that, because I have almost finished up like 
a skein and then I I use an app where I fill in all my floss and I have like a, a drawer full of extra skeins and then I know and then I go into my <sighs> talking <laughs> I'm just gonna back up when I see that a floss is running low I check my phone on my app I see if I have any lying around if I don't, I just like order new ones, try to ask if people I know have them. Um, if I have them, I go and check. And I always double check that the color is the same because I've had a lot of problem with some grays around like 318, 317 and 4 Four fifteen, so there's there's a few grays in the three and four hundred that I've had like huge problems with, and I can tell if this if the floss on the floss cards are old, new, or if they have like the dot, I write that down, but I haven't written if it's new, like black is black, so that's another problem, but. I am gonna, whenever I put on new floss on the floss drops, I am gonna write on the back if it's from a cone, if it's new DMC or if it's an old skein. So I know because protector, I, I did a lot of stitching on him. I almost did a 1% in one day and 1% is 2,600 and... 20 stitches something like that I got like 2400 stitches in before I had to call it a day so um, the problem was I saw that I was running low so I I went into my app I saw that okay I have two skeins so I went and picked those up I saw that they weren't the same color as it as now it's like and they were old ones. So I was like, I don't know if the ones on the floss drops is new or old. So I compared it, it didn't match. It had less slides. So I'm like, mm. if, if it's not going in the area where there is the same color from before, then it's fine. I don't really care. But if it's, I, I, I can't have like a slight color change in the middle, no. No. <laughs> so I, none of them matched the one I had been using. So I was like, <laughs> oh, this is great. Because there was a chance of the skein I was using was older. So I was like, okay, I will just buy two, two new ones and fingers crossed they will match. And they did, thankfully. So. I wrote new <laughs> on the back so I know that the color on the floss drop is a new color or a new dye lot if I can say that so very long story <laughs> just like if if you can write it on the back do it because it will save you time and yeah I have I, I have actually like 10 skeins that doesn't fit the color they're supposed to be so i'm like i don't know what to do with them <laughs> so maybe i should just like have a jar where if i want to make something i can just like pull it out so they just like won't sit there and be there forever so oh that was a long story and now we haven't showed we haven't showed him yet so I worked on Protector of Magic. It's a QS version that's larger than the normal one. I, I still don't. That doesn't make sense, but okay. Um, he lives in this magnificent tent. He's so cool. Let's see. It's this one. 
He's so cool. He start on 28 count. Two over one tenth. Or half course. So I reached, I think last time we spoke, I just reached 9%. I am now at 10.58% and that's like huge. Um, as I said, I did almost two and a half thousand stitches in a day. I was like, my head was really not <laughs> in it at the end, but I just filled in. So I have like, I have like a thread which we are gonna ignore. And I feel like Two and a half thousand stitches doesn't look like much, but it is. So I filled in all of this. All of this. And I started filling this. And I did a little bit in his face. I got this filled in. I am missing one stitch in there. <laughs> uh, this is the color I was talking about. I think it's three. Let me see if I can find it out. 322 my new not favorite blue um i mean like he is also and the back is a mess <laughs> look at the back <laughs> i feel like it's i feel like it's kind of cool like it almost looks like it's been it's been painted it's so cool but it's the front we are. So I feel like I'm starting to realize which projects are my favorites. I do have favorites. Um, I love this one. I think it's because I've gotten so far. I, I'm almost at 11% and for me that's huge because this is gonna take me years. <laughs> Uh, and the other one is Yulming on there, which I did work on. Actually, I got in 800 stitches on it. So, uh, his eye is done. I have a few ninja stitches left here. I have a lot. Of, so, I'm so I'm kind of like trying to work in a specific way on this. Uh, I am trying to fill in his face, of course, because I really want to have like all of this done. But that also means I have to fill in this and then it's just like because he goes there. And so here is his wing. And this is part of his wing. And then you, you have a wing tip up here. So I'm like trying to kind of like fill in this area with the background and down to this section and I'm pulling up this this is almost done all of it up here there's a few colors left I hope you can see I'm sorry um, I mean like his face is kind of like I want to get his face done I want all of this to be done um, so I think my plan may change of course you know me um, but yeah, uh, this <laughs> there's a lot of this color up in here. It's like a ton, uh, thousands of stitches. So I want to get this done, this done. I want to start working down here and get like this part done and then move on to his wing, which I don't, I haven't looked at it yet. So I don't know how confetti heavy it is. But I'm thinking of working this way and I may actually wait with like the neck and start the wing if I want to or I can just do whatever I want basically and I will because no one no one can tell me what to do when it comes to stitching <laughs> she said um, so yeah really happy I almost almost have a page finish it goes like here or something I have like a few colors here that I haven't done yet because they are 
whenever I look at Pattern Keeper and I highlight a color and then I see like it's spread out, I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Then it, it doesn't take long, but it's kind of, kind of like figuring out where to go and uh, as it's on the back, I on this one I am just like all over the place because or I try to stay within the area so I I, I won't like go outside no I have so I don't know why I say that but I'm going as far as I can so like if a color is in his face and down here I start the thread and I get as much done in the area I am working on and then I continue down until that thread is done and then I choose another color so he's gonna be so cool when he's done and he's still grumpy so I love him and the back is so cool oh I love the back so that is my absolute favorite project ever I hope it stays that way because it would be sad if I suddenly don't want to work on him we'll see so the last project I've been working on, which I have been working on, I worked on it yesterday. And the day before, I think I got in 800 stitches. I don't know why I said it like that, but anyways. Which actually makes me want to start a new Gecko Rouge. I have three more kits lying, waiting. That I want to start and none of them are well one is kind of it's not huge but it's big and, and two others have like they aren't big at all but I'm I have a problem starting certain things now maybe I will I don't know this dude yeah this is also my favorite project by the way <laughs> This is my favorite full cross project. I love him. I am finally, I worked down. I actually worked down. Well, I do usually work down, but I've told myself and I haven't moved the Q-snap. I, I, I said to myself that I will take out all the projects from the Q-snaps when I do the, when I do the root parade. I was thinking about doing it now, but I may want to work on him tomorrow, so I didn't do it, so it is what it is. And he's on my stand, so it's going to look weird, but boop. I bet you can see, it doesn't look like I've done much, but I did. I finished, you can see the top of the ball right here. So I had, when I started this, I started in a bowl and then I kind of like went to the side and I don't know what I did but it was my first time parting so that's why it has a lot of threads and then I wanted to go up so I just worked all the way up and then I just like started going down again so it's not that these th threads are annoying but they are kind of annoying so I want to work down until I hit the ball because I part at the side and not up. Don't ask me why. I've learned <laughs> since then. Um, so my next plan is to go take this row down and this row down. So I need, because I the ball is two rows there. So then I will have a lot down there. Um, I will probably pull this down as far as it can go and this. So I can actually move the Q-snap a little bit because this is the highest part and it goes down there so I have to move it anyway. Um, and I kind of want to wait with filling in the sides here until these are gone and out of the way because it and then I will try to like focus on one side and not do like both sides so the problem is that there's a lot of whites in the sides and I don't want to do them 
I am seriously dreading the sides, like kind of like runic things on the side. I am dreading it so much. I don't want to do it. It's like... So actually what I may end up doing instead of going starting at the top and going down, I may just like go out in the sides and going up. And try to do block by block or because they aren't like not all of the blocks are filled out I may just jump around I don't know I will have to figure something out but he's looking grumpy as well <laughs> every every one of my projects are looking grumpy <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> but yeah he looks so cool I love him it looks mean. He's a mean machine. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna... And like the back isn't that bad, but... I... When I started him, I... Since this is one over one... Um, I... I used the... I used the front loop method. Is that what it's called? It's not the pin stitch. Yeah, it's when you go. Yeah. Anyways, I used the same method to to end the thread, and I didn't like it. So then now I am just like flipping it around and just like going one. I'm just taking it on the back, so it's kind of like it's a lot more threads on the back now than it was, but. You can see his eyes <laughs> on the back, so funny. Um, and just like um, if you are parking, you can use clothes pins and just like hide them in here. So I got this Grand God from Rita, and it's super because it's really thick or it's kind of like wide, so it hides a lot. So that's why. It's not like a super big pro problem. But there's a lot of threads in here that I want to get out of the way, so. And there's a lot of like, I don't know where it is. It's going to be really interesting in the whip. To Cthulhu went down. <laughs> no! No! Cthulhu! He's fine, he's fine. I hope. So, I actually damaged the frame. <laughs> this is not my day, is it? The frame got damaged. No! It's fine, it's fine. I'm just gonna like put some markers on it and no one will know. <sighs> Anyways, um, I am gonna buy myself. I don't think I worked. Wow, I'm starting to get tired now because I'm going all over the place. Um, yeah. Yeah, I am done. This is uh, this is the end. No, it's not the end. I'm just like really tired. Um, I'm gonna buy a pattern again because I really want it. And yeah, dark. I haven't touched Dark Queen. I think I'm not gonna show her because I've shown her every time, and I don't want to show her again. So, so anyway, that's me. Uh, hopefully, I will see you again in two weeks for my whip parade. It's gonna be interesting. I feel like I just had one. Time flies. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Um, stitch on whatever you want. Start new things. And I will see you soon. Bye.